before the Super Bowl, the NFL had what it just called the NFL Championship Game, and one of the most famous of those was in 1958 between the Baltimore Colts and the New York Giants, a game that went into overtime, and Johnny Unitas led the Colts down the field on a great two-minute drill, and they won. The, it's called the greatest game ever played because it was the first uh, overtime playoff game, and it was the first one ever broadcast. Again, here we are on network television. The whole country saw this game. Um, the Super Bowl came about when the NFL and AFL, two separate leagues, merged in 1966. And actually, the first two weren't even called the Super Bowl. They were called the NFL-AFL World Championship Game. And they became known as the Super Bowl when uh, Lamar Hunt, the owner of the Kansas City Chiefs, saw his daughter playing with a little thing called the Super Bowl. And he went, hmm, Super Bowl, Super Bowl. That's how it came to be the Super Bowl. And it now is, without question, it's the single biggest secular day of the year in America. I mean, the country shuts down for this thing. And the amount of money that's spent on it, we had it here in Dallas last, uh, last February, the opulence, the money, the limos, the jewels, it's just, it's incredible what goes on surrounding this game. And it's become uh, one of the major financial uh, treasures of the country. Newspaper writing changed when television came along. It used to be that you went to the newspaper in the morning to read about what happened in the game the night before. You wanted the inning-by-inning inning story or the quarter-by-quarter quarter story of the game because the odds are it was not televised. Uh, it was very rare to have games televised back in the days when we only had five or six channels to begin with. Now, every game is on and Sports Center is on and you see all the highlights and you see everything. Writers had to, had, had to become analysts and columnists, and instead of telling you what happened, they had to explain why it happened. And in the beginning of that period, in the late 60s, early 70s, even late 70s, uh, they weren't really very good at it because they didn't have the expertise they had needed. Expertise wasn't really required before. You were just a storyteller. Now you need to know what a cover two defense is. Now you need to know when the hit and run should be put on, and you need to be able to explain it almost like a coach does. And uh, so, so today you go to the newspaper to find out not what happened last night, but why it happened the way it did.